your equipment might be faulty. So we never once said that. I never once said that. That's not what First of all, shout raise. out to Pocket Watch. We want you this big right, right here. Give a little bit more context right of what I was saying. I want to be clear. You may not be aware of this. Okay. But an attorney cannot simply throw whatever they want. They can. They, 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 they can. No, they, no, 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 you're factually, you're factually incorrect. If, if an attorney... Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to give you a second. That, that's let, me, let, let me explain here. Let, let me explain. Let, let me explain. Now, an attorney can be sanctioned and penalized if they frivolously just draw up a lawsuit and they throw a bunch of stuff in there that is absolutely ridiculous right if they throw in things coming at you live boy reputable some of y'all don't know not to do it's, it's it's called negligence this is a lie this girl actually how ignorant do you have to be to agree with a bunch of things to be interviewed reputable attorney would say of you somebody coming after your that. ass when you got lost to come against you negligence. that's why i'm saying shout out to pocket watching y'all attorney drafts up something and calls she's trying to it make this make see. sense and it's different when a i don't blame them i don't blame so the hustle you know why the, the there's a sucker burn every day there's a sucker born every day and some of y'all gonna be watching these videos of suckers turnkey program we have contracts in the contract okay. there's no promise of 20 30 40 50 no dollar amount right because we also don't know what type of equipment is going to be required we don't we don't have your information so we, we would never be like okay well you're going to make fifty thousand dollars so that's that's not true sweetheart at all and that's not what my program is actually okay. all right and the next point i want to talk about there was a particular person who i believe they filed a complaint with the attorney general and they claim that they, you know, gave you a sum of money or your business a sum of money to purchase a truck. And then when, you know, they were trying to get more verification that the truck was purchased, they then flew to where you are, where your company is. And they basically stated that they were stood up. They went out there and they, you know, you didn't meet with them. And you claimed that one of your trucks was actually stolen at that time and you could not meet with them. Is, is that an accurate statement? Is that rain or shine? Look at that and see for me real quick. Well, I'm not sure. Give me one second. But okay. anybody, any, any person, no, that happened happen with anybody? Not. It definitely did not. And no. It never happened. So rain, no, shine, that, that never happened. But anybody, I, that the never happened. The reason I said I need you to look up if it's rain or shine, mm -hmm. because I believe that I've seen it online and she tried to she tried to run with that. Look and at the tattoos, baby. When I got the fucking text messages we're looking at a felon and i'm guiding you into the fucking truck lot if y'all want somebody to rob you right so now all you gotta do is ask chancey mr hamilton i met with her and her dude at the fucking truck yard it ain't gotta be forty thousand i'll rob your ass for five thousand dollars that's one of my last questions here is there any particular reason why these different llcs that you ran and you operated were actually administratively dissolved and are no longer able to operate in the states where they were set up in. Is there any particular reason why that's the case? Run down the list of them, and I'll let you know for each one. Well, each well, I mean, they're, they're your businesses, any any of your LLCs, why would any of your LLCs now be administratively dissolved. So, for once again, shout out to Pocket Watching. I don't even use an LLC. Okay. So I need to know which ones you're talking in reference to. She's straight mobbing, boy. Karen Anderson does shit. <laughs> she will fuck up. The only she know the street code. The trucking guru. Being honest with you, that's the only one. For Kiara Henderson. Oh. What's crazy is that dude that posted all them LLCs and the authorities, Kiara Henderson, name wasn't no shit. But the trucking guru, you're not associated She's with She's going to be the girl you okay. pull up to buy a quarter. She's going to give, she gonna give you six grams and say her scale was broken. The, the state tax thing on it because Kiara don't have no business doing that. She should have gave it to her team. Right, right, is the trucking guru no longer in business? The trucking guru is business. I say it again? It is. It is. Do you know what Why, why is the LLC? Because it's under, it's under a different name and it's hidden from y'all. So y'all stop looking me up. Okay. Well, what about TTG yeah. Logistics? Is that also you? What about it? Well, no, no, it's not. Okay, because that not. was also administratively dissolved based on the info that we had. It is, it is. But that, and every single LLC that that man put up there, my name is not on. Well, I mean, your name being on 
one that doesn't. She got partners. Is it, 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 is it a company that you're associated with? with that. No, just because something is associated. So you were never associated with. What I will, what I, what I will tell you. Okay. The, the Tioga one. Mm -hmm. Tioga Brothers. When I first came out and I was trying to help people, they wanted to do the brokering. Someone partnered with me. I don't know what he did with that because we don't do that anymore. That's that's it. It's that simple. Like what what is this proving though? That's what I want to know. What what's y'all's point in this? What what's this? Well, proving? Well, I mean, okay. Well, let me let me explain it from the perspective of financial advice. Okay, okay let, let, let's do that. Because okay. uh, maybe that'll give you a little bit more insight why it's so Once much again, more. credit okay. and shout so, out you know, to Pocket Watching. Business within a particular state. If you're not doing business under your natural born name, you normally have to get some sort of fictitious name, some sort of business entity to well, operate in a particular. You don't have, hold on. That's not oh. true, sir. That's not true. It doesn't have okay, to be. What are you talking about? It doesn't have to be fictitious. Don't do that. There's proper business structure. Don't do okay, that. Okay, explain. Ex explain. Don't do that. Okay, explain, explain it, because I went to business school. So explain, explain, bitch, you explain. Know, business school, then you know that you consider okay. your company a certain way. You explain. Know, companies and different things like that. That's not fictitious. You ain't getting your money back. <laughs> I think you're misunderstanding the term fictitious. Oh, okay, I might be, because fictitious sounds like fake as fuck. Uh, see, that, see, see, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's, that's incorrect. So, in the actual world, yeah, this actual is your guru. Business, we use the term, term fictitious as a substitute for the actual birth given name of a person, right? So my name is Jason Thornton, right? But I have different business entities. I operate in a different name other than, the, like when clients write me checks, mm -hmm. they don't have to write me a check in my personal name. Right. What's the name of the business, business name? Mm -hmm. And we, we refer to that as a fictitious, fictitious. name. Yes, sir. Okay, well. Yeah. Sideline transport see, see, is see, my, y'all. That's a disconnect. There it is. There it is. There, there it is. I'm about to That's what I was wondering. I was kind of surprised how you were going to teach me when I went to business school. I was going to teach you, but I'm, not when I'm kind of surprised how you going to tell me how we doing shit. But here we are, right? Well, I'm, here we I'm are. I'm asking questions based you on how you got to You ain't getting you know. that $40,000 so, so, back. back. So, in order, so now I'm, I'm getting back to the point that I was making. Why is somewhat <laughs> alarming to have these businesses that are claimed that, you know, they're uh, dissolved and you can't operate in the business with these businesses. You cannot operate a business within a particular jurisdiction, let's say a state. You cannot operate that business if that business is not registered to do business in that state. Mm -hmm. If a company is administratively dissolved in a particular state, the Secretary of State is basically saying you cannot do business in this state. Okay. So that's why a person like myself a financial advisor, if I see a business that claims it's operating, but it has been administratively dissolved mm -hmm. in that state, it's a bad thing. Does that make sense? Why is that? A, why is that? Can I just, just ask him? Sure. Why is that a bad thing? Because the state is saying you cannot do business. So if you are operating business, you're doing it illegally. Mm, okay. Yeah. Not that you can have people set things up and run things for you so you can stay out the way and you know focus on what you need to focus on right that's the different that's a different thing what we're talking okay. about is okay. setting up and operating uh, having a fictitious name having a business entity mm -hmm. then that business entity fails to do the proper filing that the mm -hmm. business entity agreed to do mm -hmm. when it actually was formed mm -hmm. so then the state normally the secretary of state will administratively dissolve the business because that business did not keep up its obligations mm -hmm. to report the right financial or, uh, you know, administrative documents. Mm -hmm. So it then is dissolved so that it can no longer do business. You don't see how that's bad. I mean, that woman it up the right way, don't get care. Out the way. That's which is what I did. I never Just look at the business. face. Never claim to be the business guru, right? You ain't getting your but money back. I, right. I got people in place that I can pay to make sure things are structured. If you're part of this, so if you're part of the right? chasing Mr. Okay, Hamilton so family, there we go. I just did. And you gave this woman okay, some well, money. I, 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 I'm I, I sorry, bro. You ain't getting back. So you want you wanted those business entities to be dissolved? I didn't say that at all. Now the trucking guru one is the only one that Kiara can speak on. And I okay, we'll speak on that. We already did. You heard what I said. Okay, why, why was it dissolved? Be yeah, bitch. And I'm not getting off. Come on, bitch. Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. Why wasn't it dissolved, bitch? 
Oh, this is Pocket Watch and JT, who did a whole live about me. We're still doing it. It's still live. So is there any particular reason why you wanted the trucking guru to be dissolved? I wanted it set up properly. Uh -huh. so, so it did. wasn't properly set up before? No. Hell no. No, don't don't have me ask me to set up no businesses. No. Mm-mm. Okay. Hey, people so you that. set it up and then you say, hey, you know hey, what? Hey, people, I don't like the way it's set up now. I'm going to let it dissolve. No, I'm the trucking guru and uh -huh. should have never did shit. Should have paid money in the first place to handle that. So it's handled okay. properly and that's what I did. Okay, what about TTG Logistics, LLC? None of your business. That one is Damn. Yeah, none of your business. Damn. That one is also dissolved. None of your business. Facts. I mean, it's, it's public. You can look this up. Public, so you can go to safer.com, boy. Y'all can put money in your pocket. No, 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 no. I'm not I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, 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 so I'm asking the question, is that what you wanted? You wanted TTG I don't, Logistics. I, I'm not in charge of that. I mean, I spoke on what I'm in charge of. The trucking guru. That's it. So TTG Logistics is not your company. Is my name on it? You, you just said it's public records. Wait, so on that. Wait, your name being on it doesn't mean... Is my name on it? Remember, you just, you just, you know... Is my name on that? You just no. alluded to that you can have stuff without your name. So I'm asking the question. And I is that, is that, that, so is that company question. not associated with you? I just answered your question. I don't think you did. I did, honey. It just wasn't the answer you wanted. So, so, so let's be clear. And I'm going to move on from TTG when I get this answer. Go ahead. So is TTG Logistics LLC, was that ever a business that you were associated with? That was. Okay. That's a yes, y'all. It's administratively dissolved at this time. Because that's how you wanted it to be. No. Okay. Certain things Kiera cannot speak on because there are open cases. Gotcha. Open case. Okay. All right. So. Uh, just to wrap up, I want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity so you can say your piece. There's no open ends here. Um, you still uphold that you made over a hundred million dollars at the bare minimum four years ago. Is that correct? Oh, one thousand percent, honey. Okay. And, yeah. and, okay, and go ahead. Go ahead. I would like to educate you and your followers real quick. Uh -huh. So a lot of stuff that I post. I, I come across as like a unicorn because yeah, that's cap. Nobody can do that, right? Nobody apparently is that's black. No, no damn no, two years. Anybody, period, can just do I've that. I've been shit, in right? trucking for seven. So one of the I've made, made seven hundred and fifty thousand. No, years back. I've made over five hundred thousand. Thousand for like nine hundred miles, forty-two thousand to be exact. I was cap. I was fake. I was fraud. I was wrong, right? Yet two black gentlemen get on my next live, who how heavy? And say they've made those, they, they got loads that do 180, 85,000, 95,000. Not a cap in sight. Not a, oh, that's not real. Not, not none of that. The problem is a lot of you don't know how to truck the right way. Specialty freight is where it's at. The only thing I've been saying that from day one. one. I mean, she's still yeah, capping. She didn't make no freaking 100,000, 100 million. You did make, you, you own. But I've been telling you how to specialize over and right? over. And you have been doing this for what? Um, over twenty years, right? So yes. over twenty years, you own over one hundred and forty trucks. You've made over a hundred million dollars, correct? Okay. And the evictions that were on your record, you do not believe that those evictions are accurate. I didn't see them. I told you about the one I do know about, and that's okay. it. And I, then I then I advise you the, the big mansion that everybody's obsessed with. Mm -hmm. Just like y'all went and looked up that information, go look at the dismissal, please, and thank you. That's what I said. Do you still live there? No. And, and what's crazy is I went live telling people that. I went live telling them what happened. I don't hide shit. I even moved to another mansion. But y'all don't give a fuck about that, right? I can't, the millionaire that can't pay rent, right? Okay, so so what would be, what is what do you believe the motivations of a landlord who's getting about $22,000 a month faithfully from you every month. You are paying this person on time every month for how long did you stay there? A while. If you go look at my lives, uh -huh. I was actually, I was actually pregnant. Remember the fake pregnancy they said I did? I was actually pregnant when all of this happened. Okay. So, so would you so, say longer or shorter than six months? Longer than six months, sweetheart. Longer or shorter than a year? Longer. But Long listen, I need, I, I need you to focus. I need you to focus. No, 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 because it's, it's, it's all within the same pack, thing. So, so, because this, this is this is where I'm thinking. Where's the motivation of a landlord who you've been paying faithfully every month 
over $20,000 a month for over a year. Where is the motivation of that level to say, you know what? I'm going to claim falsely that this person has not been paying their rent so I can get them out of the house. What's the motivation? What I'll do is I'll do you one even better. Okay. I'll send you a screenshot mm-hmm. of our conversations first, so then you can get a full picture of it. Then I'll then, then, then I'll show you mm-hmm. where when I first took on the property, all these promises were made. All this money came out of my pocket to improve the property. Nobody can put the end of the uh, end of their bargain but me. But I can show you all of that, sweetheart. Okay. So 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 the motivation of he ain't getting what, nothing. You saying that you did not pay to actually get to the point of doing eviction process in court. Why are they doing it? Why do you think they would do that? Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a lot here y'all don't know about, but cocaine okay. is a hell of a drug. <laughs> All right, just just the, out of their out of their normal rational mind. They want to kick out a faithful paying tenant because they're out of their rational mind. Well, here, here's the crazy thing. Okay. I left. Mm-hmm. I moved. Mhm. But you don't have all of the, you know. Again, you could go look up the dismissal. Okay. I moved. Go, I move all the time. I moved twice in six years. Got it. Got it. I ain't no million there though. You don't recognize the other ones that are on your record. I don't. I I, I haven't seen it on. You have to see. You'd have to. You'd have to go like down a fucking list or whatever the fuck. Whatever he posted, you have to tell me because I truly do not know. All right. So any last words, anything that I missed in the information that was presented in the lawsuits, the information that was presented from Spencer Cornelia's uh, video, anything that I missed that we did not already talk about? Um, I just think that for people to be this vested in other people's she out of business, y'all. Is insane. She knows um, it. And I love how all of you guys like she better get behind that, that motherfucker wheel that's, that's what she's about I mean, to do that's what i promised i promised that i would hey call chasing mr hamilton baby i can get you 70 cents a mile i say it all the time i'm a basket case i'm not perfect well okay and, and, and i understand that but uh, let me let me give you my point of view because here's the deal your personal life is somewhat on display when you post videos of your home you post videos of the nice things that you have, right? Now, if you're if you're a cornball like me, like I, I'm, I'm lame. I'm a corn. I don't even have no watch on my wrist right now. Okay. I, I don't show any real lifestyle, right? For all you know, I'm making this video in the dungeon of my mother's basement, right? I, I, I don't show anything. So, from my point of view, my personal life is never really on display. That's why you don't see people making videos about my personal life. But I think I have an understanding as to why people would make videos about your personal life. Well, because you have made statements about your wealth. And here's the thing. You have made statements about the things that you've been able to do, blessed with your wealth, making over a hundred million dollars, owning more than one hundred and forty trucks. So when you make those statements, you open the door, kind of like a vampire. You invite them in. So. If me being proud of myself for what a person who has, what did you say, the fake doctorate, but no high school diploma, no GED, self-talk, I, I, the real definition of got it out the mud. If I can't be proud of what I've done. And if you give this woman some I'm money. Little, little girl from the hood did it, you can too. And if you're going to get it back, let Chase Mr. Mr. Hamilton know, I will give you $50 free. Y'all not I will I'm cash out you that right I'm now. I'm not here to I'm trying to I'm trying to explain as to yeah, why I'm not people I'm not about will make I'm not why about people you. will actually bring up your personal stuff I'm not talking about you, because Jay, Jay, no, 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 I know not me I'm but not I'm just saying you. that's why some people will say hey she said she made 140 million dollars or she has over 140 trucks she made over 100 million dollars but she also has evictions so you know how many celebrities the numbers don't lie yes. a couple of them. it's lit yes. so let me explain that. Because I, I, I'm actually a client. Clients in that situation. Me, the yeah, yeah, let me Google explain it. that. The, the reason why those celebrities uh, have evictions, why those celebrities have, uh, have repossession. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. 
this is for the audience. This is for the audience. So let, let me just explain. This, this, this is for the audience. And I want I want to be clear. She is correct. Uh, yes, celebrities, movie stars, athletes, um, musicians, they do have evictions on their record, or closures on their records, repossessions on their records. The reason why these celebrities have those similar things on their records is because those celebrities are functionally broke. Now, I know you're saying, well, JT, how can they be functionally broke? They make a lot of money. Well, the problem is when you spend the same amount of money or more than you make, you're still broke. You can have a person who makes $10 million a year. If they spend 12 to $15 million a year, they're broke. They just have nicer toys, but they're functionally broke. So that that's why it can happen to a, a celebrity because they would be broke. How do you see? You see how y'all do? You don't know if them people's broke. You don't know nothing about them people. Oh well, I've 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 actually reviewed cases and I've had clients in those situations. And the reason why a lot of yeah. high-profile celebrities go you through bankruptcy and they get their cars repossessed you know, is because they're you broke. don't know. But every single one of them don't win. Oh, you don't well, know. No that. one does know every single one. Stop. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you an insight no, into what happens. So this is your guru. Look at the way she acting. Does chasing Mr. Hamilton be acting like that? Okay. If I make, if I make a million dollars a year, but I spend one point five, what would that make me? And my point was, sweetheart, you said that because the caption was a hundred million. And she can't pay her. Rent. I'm looking at that's some of those I bags in the background, y'all. That, that, that's why I said what I said, honey. Some of those bags you are fake, to, y'all. You want to just go out and prove whatever. That silver bag look like something you grab from Walmart was, or the Louis um, Chase store. Even if that, even if that's the case, right. we're not homeless. We have a roof yeah. over our head. I yeah. pay for multiple households to live. Multiple. Right. With right. your money. You know, MC I'm talking about too. the they suckers who are born every day no, no, saying, with know, their are, money. Are you, aware that M, are you aware that MC Hammer did something similar? Yeah, MC I, 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 remember I remember that. But what I remember that. What happened to MC Hammer? Hammer? I, 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 I know. I, I, I was sad what when happened? I was sad when that happened to him. He went broke. Did he go like bankrupt? Well, I was little when it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, but, went, yeah. he went broke. I, I'm not MC Hammer, sweetheart. I'm not. I'm not nowhere near broke. I know, I know. The point, just, the point that I'm answer. making is because you said saying that you, that you make a lot of money and saying that you pay for a lot of households mm -hmm. does not mean that you cannot be broke. Preach, my boy. Preach. And also, because you see okay. evictions, does not mean that a person don't have money. That was my point. It means you can't pay your bills. That's a good point. That's an absolute good point. Because I think that I think that highlights the point. That highlights the point that I was trying to make. And let, let me be clear, because I don't want to confuse anybody. The point that I was making when it comes to having several evictions on your record, let me be clear. It does not necessarily mean you have no money. 50 Cent went bankrupt, y'all, three years ago. You made decisions with your money that did not include paying your rent on time. And to tie back to my notes, what I was saying was, if you have a person that has several evictions, remember, your home is the biggest expense that a person normally has. It's where you're safe and secure. If a person neglects to keep up their obligations and their responsibilities to pay for the place that they live, it is a red flag. And I'm speaking in the capacity of a financial advisor. It is a red flag to do business with someone who will allow their rent, the place where they live, to go unpaid, to miss payments, all the way to the point where the landlord is forced to- Shout out to Pocket Watching with JT. big of a problem, managing their money, meeting their obligations on their home, you shouldn't do business with. Because if they're not paying the landlord, they probably won't pay you. They probably, once again, 
Doesn't mean they don't have it. That's like people have loaned thousands of dollars. Guess what? I ain't got that money back. The same way that they can make a conscious decision to not pay you, to make sure that they still have cash in their pocket. So um, that's 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 the point I was trying. Yeah. To. Okay. Now that I, I agree with that, but okay. that wasn't the case. You heard how you said where you are states where you lay your head, right? Mm -hmm. you, just, you just said all of that. That yeah. wasn't the case where I was living, sweetheart. At all, and I, didn't. I thought you said you did. You was unaware of these. Uh, these. Does that look like a hundred million dollar girl? Look at them raggedy ass weave, y'all. Look at that raggedy ass weave. Okay, don't, don't do that. Stephanie had to spend thirty thousand dollars on a weave. Does that look like a, a thirty thousand dollar weave? Okay. Stephanie Haddish don't have a hundred million dollars. You moved out. That's why I said go look it up. You'll see the dismissal because I was already gone. And, and, you that paid, and you paid them every month on time. And that was not the case with that house. Everything that you just said, I agree with. Okay. I agree with that wholeheartedly, but that was not the case with this house, sweetheart, at all. All right, so I want to give you a few moments to summarize anything to either myself or the over 4,000 people who are watching. I want to give you the floor. Go right ahead. So the first video that you posted i forgot the guy's name don't even know him don't give a fuck but what he said was inaccurate that's not what we do that's not what we teach she didn't run out and go get an authority like the analogy was incorrect um the evictions don't know about those guys two of them i mentioned about and the only thing that i ever claimed was that i could teach people how to become millionaires and i've done that all this extra shit y'all can kiss my ass with it damn all right, I AKA, you ain't Christian getting school. your Let money back. This, I say this to everybody who comes up. Anyone. Damn. As in any way, shape, or form, it's the subject matter of a show on Pocket Watching with JT. And they come up on this platform. They have a level of respect for me. So I want to say this to you. Thank you for coming up. You absolutely have a level of respect for me to come up on the hot seat and answer these questions. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, you have a good one. You too. All right, all right, people. So here we go. Going back to the open phone lines. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what you think is going on. I have a few people here, and we're going to run through it. I have Keep It Plain. I have the Her Boss. I have D Frank. I have Mansa, Nadine, and Ellie. So here we go. Let me bring up Keeping It Plain. You're live on the air with Pocket Watching with JT. What's going on? Hello, sir. How you doing tonight? Uh, I want to thank you first for taking my call. Can you hear me well? Yeah, go right ahead. All right. Sir, I do appreciate you for doing shows like this. I think it's very educational. And I think we need more shows like this to put in front of the, uh, of the masses of the people to get them to understand how business really go and how business don't go. And I, I want to thank you for that. But I am a... Uh, I'm a trucker and I own a few trucks. And uh, some of the numbers that the, that the first individual was up there talking about, the guy like he was in his car or something like that, you know, those numbers that he was throwing up, those numbers are very feasible. But um, with, the, with the lady that you had just up a minute ago, I just like to know how did she do it? I was like, no. I want to know. Of course. You got about a course to find out. But I mean, but she does, to be fair, she does say that a lot of the information that she gives for free on her platforms, she said the one woman made a bag by not doing her course and just listening. So you may need to watch her uh, her material, but specifically, she is not a driver herself. Hell no. Uh, she doesn't drive the truck. She doesn't do all of that, but she makes, she made over a hundred million dollars. So a person in the trucking industry, I, I, you know, maybe maybe you can figure it out. Well, Mr. JT, I mean, you do have a point that you, I mean, you don't, you don't have to learn how to drive a truck. You don't have to drive a truck. You don't have to do that. Be you know, being in the trucking company, you know, you can, you can also, you know. Uh, uh, right, we're you know, going to go ahead and cut it off here. <laughs> Let me give you all my two pieces, baby. Hold on. I got to put on the shirt. I mean, when, you, when, you, when you're driving on other people, other people are going, you do run the risk of sometimes may not be paid because everything goes through the person. With the authority, and that's 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 where you deal sometimes. So I, I've been in this trucking business for a while. About a lot of horror stories about sometimes drivers don't get paid, and and sometimes they get screwed out of their money. So 
But um, the trucking business, I want to say, I know you guys didn't, didn't talk about that or didn't see with that. I mean, you can make good money and live a nice life in the trucking business. But you have to put that work in. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You have to put that work in. I want to thank you, Mr. JT, for taking my call. And, man, great show, man. Great, great show tonight. Thank you. Listen, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for calling in. And listen, I've got, you know, plenty of clients who are in the industry. You can gross a lot of money in the trucking industry. The problem is life happens. There's repairs, breakdowns, fuel. There's so many things that can happen in the course of a year in the trucking industry. I mean... There's a reason why these huge companies that are in the trucking industry are going bankrupt. <laughs> like maybe some of y'all are unaware, huge companies in the trucking industry right now have either gone bankrupt or are on the verge of going bankrupt because that's how hard the industry is. So let's just to make that clear. All right, let me bring up, we got uh, the, the Herbos. The Her Boss. You're live on air. What's going on? Hi, JT. How are you tonight? I'm doing um, good. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. And thank you for taking, um, for doing this live. <laughs> because I don't know if you ever seen the DM, JT, but I sent you a DM over a year ago. Oh, really? Asking, yes, inquiring and asking about if you could kind of look into her because I was actually going to purchase, you know, one of her courses for my husband. So, yeah, and for some reason, it just never happened, and I'm kind of thankful for that. Um, but Hell yeah, because you're never getting that money back. <laughs> my eyes a whole lot more, and um, I just want to kind of point out some of the things she said, because I watched her live that she did uh, earlier this week, okay. and... Some of, some of her points that she made in the live tonight, she also made it in her live um, a couple of nights ago. But she said Spin reported the lawsuits, but he also failed to disclose that she won the case. Um, and the case was basically thrown out. Yeah. Then... Which uh, case was that? Because the one that I'm looking at is the one that's still pending. I'm not sure, but that's what she had claimed. That's I, I remember her specifically saying, if the, I, I don't know if the lives are still up, but she okay. did say that basically she won and the case was thrown out. The second thing that she said was the actual eviction, quote unquote, papers mm -hmm. that were shown in the video, they were not actual eviction papers. They were claims a part of the lawsuit. Right, but in the live just now, she said that she knew about two of them, and I think there was only three that was reported. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I, I, I think you're correct on that as well. Yeah. So I was kind of I was kind of confused by that because she said, well, first she said they, you know, she shout out to Pocket working with JT. She didn't know anything this about is that. This live. But anyway. Um, there were just a lot of red flags tonight. Red flags tonight. She said she wasn't going to disclose or show her 140 plus trucks because right. it was quote unquote none of our business. Um, so that was a red flag. Right. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. Anybody who's online, I want to be clear. I'm a part of this group now, too. Even though I don't consider myself a YouTuber, I'm a financial advisor that on Friday nights, I sit in my home office and I cut on this thing and I go by. I'm not a, a YouTuber in my mind, but I'm this close to 100,000. So I guess I got to kind of admit I'm something like a YouTuber because I always right. have 100,000 subs. But the second you bring up your personal life, when you talk about the things that you have, items, cars, luxury, that type of stuff, when you claim you have 140 trucks, when you claim you made over $100 million, you're going to have people who are going to question that. And it's fair game. Chase and Mr. Hamilton has one truck. Let's get that off the record. Say, you know, says, one I truck that is parked you right now it. collecting oh, rust. Well, you, you, you mentioned it. Oh, and the they get a nomadic trailer for sale. If it's anybody trying to take my advice and get to the oil field, I get a nomadic four-pod 
1,800 cubic square feet Listen, of cargo. Just overall, the more she talked, I just became more skeptical. Um, and it's disappointing, it's disheartening because I really felt like she was one of the good ones. But, um, you know, again, just ha just seeing how defensive and hearing how defensive she was instead of, you know, realizing and recognizing like, hey, you know, I'm a, number one, I'm a, I'm a public figure. You know, I run a business. If people have questions, if they are skeptical, then I can address it uh, respectfully. If you don't have anything to hide, you know what I mean? But thank you. Thank you again. I appreciate you. Keep doing the good work. Thank you. I appreciate you calling in. Thank you so much. All right, guys, everyone who's up right now, I'm going to do the best I can to get to you. No new calls, but everyone, if you're in the back right now, I'm going to try to get to you, and I'm going to try to get to you in this order. I got Sean, Mansa, Nadine. We're going to go ahead and cut this off right here. Y'all get the point, y'all. All right. I think y'all got the point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mister with the freaking beard, you ain't getting your money back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are not getting the money back. That lady looked look like the lady that's the plug, right? You bought a quarter. You know, I'm going to say you bought half an ounce. You know what? Let's say a whole house. You bought a whole house of that good, good, that sticky, icky, and she gave you 3.5. You, it was the fluffy stuff now. The fluffy stuff. Usually they're going to say it's come from Cali. It's made of kill cancer and all that nonsense, right? The fluffy stuff. So 3.5. You bought a half an ounce. Or you bought an ounce. She's going to give you six grams. And you're like, Brr. hey, man, look, I just got to my house. I check the damn scale, man. This is 6.5. I bought a whole house. <laughs> she said tough titties. Boy, you ain't getting that money back. You ain't getting the difference. The woman like was like this the whole time. When was the last time you saw Chelsea Mr. Hamilton like that? Oh, uh, you ain't getting that $40,000 back. No, sir. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Some of you, well, I'm going to sue her. Look, I got I, I to gotta teach you all. I got a degree in criminology, right? I'm not a lawyer. My goal was to go. My goal was to go to law school. My dad looked me in the eye and said, yeah, I ain't paying for that. So I mingle in a uh, imperial legal, which will be the assistant to lawyer. I just went ahead and did criminology, man. Got an associate in criminal justice. I'm going to tell you one thing. What she did is not a crime per se. But what I will tell you, she's right in the borderline of grand theft. Yeah, 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 grand theft. The way the statue works over here is, for example, let's go to shoplifting. If you steal anything over $100. That's what we classify as either a class B. Now, class C is like speeding ticket. That's a class B misdemeanor. You go to 500, that's a class A misdemeanor. Anything over there, it's a freaking felony. Class B felony, class A felony. You understand me? She's walking the borderline of grand theft, which is a crime. Especially the... the a sucker is born every day. Y'all gotta understand. A sucker is born every day. As we're making this, as I'm making this video right now, as you watch that live for 30 minutes, there's a woman out here in the hospital right now giving birth to a sucker who will give a lady with tattoos. Okay? Who will give a lady $40,000? <laughs> because she says she can make a millionaire. I've been trucking since 2017. Y'all know my story. I was a bus boy, 15, 16. We got pregnant. I said I needed some real money. I went, I went to the, oh yeah, yeah. I went to the Migos and got my CDL. Then I went to Swift Academy and I actually learned how to drive a truck. Yeah, you gotta learn how to finesse this. You gotta learn how to finesse the system. I ain't mad at her. There's a sucker born every day. 
If I can get $40,000 from y'all right now, I will figure out how to do it. I will take, man, boy, I will take that $40,000 like a mofo, especially if I know I'm lying on y'all because I know you're a sucker. Why? Because I just told you, right, there's a lady right now as I'm making this video giving birth to a sucker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The suckers just keep adding up. We got we got the baby boomer suckers. They all retiring. They got a wife in their life now. She probably influencing his suckerness. But the lady giving birth right here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Suckers are being replaced every day. Every day. It come to stop. We got that, uh, what is it called? Buy and bump, buy and dump or whatever. You got, you got stock gurus telling you what stocks to buy. Boom, they boom, they dump it on your ass. They make a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars. Move on. You got pyramid skin suckers fall for that. You got you got mofos with three, four trucks parked all day, every day. And they, they, they're trying to convince you they got direct contracts and you'll fall for that. You got a lady saying, I made a hundred million dollars with a $250 weave. If that, with a resale store weave. Well, I can go to Walmart and buy a weave just like that. Y'all saw the live. I ain't making it up. Stephanie Haddish had a $30,000 weave, real, real hair from Indonesia somewhere or one of those places. You know, remember when I said suckers born every day? We ain't just talking about American suckers. We got foreign suckers out here cutting beautiful long hair for religion reason, and they turn around and sell it to Stephanie Haddish for $30,000. You, you won't even know that's a weave, except for you know she's a black woman. Black women ain't supposed to have long, beautiful, flowing hair like that. That's how you know that's a weed. But it's real here. That girl look like, man, her weave is not the type of weave a $100 million woman should be wearing. That's all I got to say. I don't know what else to tell y'all. A sucker is born every day. You ain't getting your money back, bro. Ma'am, sir, madam. Queen, King, whatever y'all want to call yourself. You ain't getting your money back. Oh, yeah. That you structuring it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she bought that truck for $19,000 and you gave her thirty five forty dollars Oh, my God. Whoo, my God. Boy, that, hey, man, look. Instead of me hating on this woman, I need, I need to find out how I need to capitalize on the suckers, bro. That's that, that's what I need to learn. Is I need to learn how to capitalize on the suckers. Once again, shout out to Pocket Watching with JT. A sucker is born every day. Now I see here. I'm a driller now. I got out of the trucking game three months ago. I'm trying to give you some game how to leave a stressful environment right now. Rate is down. It's trash. It's raggedy. People want you to, <coughs> oh yeah, we out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we dark skins and we love chicken. But uh, we, I'm out here teaching you how to stop running your equipment for 88 cents. Park that mofo like I did. Go be a company driver. Go try something else. And I don't get $40,000. What's going on? I need to find whatever her name is, man. Miss Henderson. I need to find out. Man, look, I need to be in her DMs. I need to take her to the dinner. Miss Henderson, show me the game plan how to hook these suckers. That's what I need to know. Show me the game plan on how to hook a sucker to give me 40000 Oh, my God. Life will be good. But look, I'll be renting in the damn mansion and don't pay rent my damn self. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I go over there, get in the mansion, take a couple out. Ah, oh, man. Hold on, hold on. I don't have Instagram, though. I don't have Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, too. I need, look, Miss Karen Henderson, show me how to hook a sucker. Give me 40000 30000 15000 10000 I even take 
$500. Just show me the blueprint to hook a sucker so I can go rent a damn mansion, pay for two months, 20, I don't know about $20,000 now. I mean, I'm going to put down five grand. <laughs> Be like the check is coming in because I got to find more sucker to pay for this $20,000 a month mansion and then make a whole hell of a whole lot of videos when the landlord come asking for rent, give them the middle finger and uh, yeah, 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 and call it a day and keep collecting suckers because a sucker is born every day. I want to say every hour, to be honest. A sucker is born. Some of y'all watching this video right now probably a sucker, man. But it's all about the upbringing. But I don't, I don't, I don't disrespect the hustle. Matter of fact, I have the same reverence for this woman than I did when I found out about Mr. Miss Blanco, the godfather. I mean, the godmother of cocaine. Oh yeah, yeah. I have hell of reverence for that woman. I have a hell of reverence for that woman. A woman that came in the cocaine game during the 90s, took over Miami, damn near was the boss of Pablo Escobar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got hella respect for that woman. You know what, Miss Kiara Henderson? I'm going to find out where you live, ma'am. If you ever come across this video. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need a blueprint on how to hook this sucker because you, they, dude, you, you never run out of suckers. You never run out of sucker. You never run out of sucker. You a sucker. Yeah, you, you, you watch him. You, you a sucker. I, I'm going to say that right now. A sucker let his woman run through him. A sucker go out here six, eight weeks. And he ain't got nothing to show for it. His woman run that. A sucker is stupid to think that Jody is not in his house or in his woman's DM or she ain't getting piped. Day in and day out by Jody. That's a sucker. That's a different from a sucker. That's a self denial sucker. I, I don't care about that sucker. Because me, 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 yeah, I've been known. My woman is fine. Petite. Oof. The yams and the yeeks, boy. So I know Jody's around, but I ain't stressing. But that, once again, we ain't talking about me. We ain't talking about the sucker that think his woman is faithful while he's a trucker. Nah, I ain't worried about that. I need to get a hold of Miss Kiara Anderson. Please tell me how to get a sucker. I, I need the formula, baby. What do I got to do? Show up at a stranger's car? Take a picture or something? I mean, what do I got to do, Miss Henderson? Show me. You know, as a matter of fact, I will give you $500. I need the formula. Oh, yeah, to get a sucker to send me $40,000. I mean, I will, I will offer you an island. In Florida, I ain't even got a house, but I will offer you a damn house. Send me forty thousand dollars. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Come on, truckers, y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better, man. But you ain't why? Cause a sucker is born every hour, every day. I read a statistic that said that a new child is born around the world like every three seconds. This video is going to be like an hour long. Shoot, it's like... Whoo, there's at least 60 suckers being born already. So I need Miss Anderson to show me how to tap into your mindset and get your money. Oh, yeah. I need it. I, I, forget this drilling. Forget trucking. Forget an honest job. I need to know how to get in with the suckers. Get your money. Oh my God! You go out. You go out there, truck for all you want. You go out there, work an office job. Now you want to get into truck? Oh yeah, I'm the man of car. I'm gonna let you know when I talk to Miss Henderson when she give me the formula on how to hook the suckers in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Man, we might just quit YouTubing. We might quit working, period. I mean, God, a hundred million dollars. That's all I got to do is put a number out here and say, I made a hundred million dollars. Boy, I saw one of the testimony, man. I saw one of the testimony. Her so-called client, they were just hogging with a voiceover, right? Because you know that was a voiceover. That was probably her making that voiceover. Talking about, I got with her after one week, I made a million dollars. Where? Bitch, where did you make a hundred million dollars out of one week? 
of getting in the truck and get Because chasing Mr. Hamilton has his own authority. The only people I could mess with was Coyote. People that are going to go mm, with no Vaseline. Oh, yeah, because she ain't got no choice. You're a new authority. That's the 120 days. <laughs> Oh my God! You know what? I know my next mission. I need to get a hold of Miss Anderson. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm about to get on the work. I might even have to download Instagram to find this woman. Tell her she is the greatest thing to happen since sliced bread. She might be on the same level as Miss Blanco to me now, because she figured out a way to get a forty thousand dollars from a hardworking man. Oh man, you can't you can't disrespect the hustle. Oh my goodness. Ooh. But I'm in a hotel right now, paid for by company. But my paycheck ain't enough. If I can get a sucker to send me $40,000.